Hi everyone. Let's take a look at number eight on page one seventy. Sketch a graph of a function f that is differentiable that satisfies the following conditions: f prime is positive when x is less than negative five. F prime is negative when x is in between negative five and one, and when x is greater than one. F prime of negative five is zero. F prime of one is zero. F of negative five is six. F of one is two. Step one: draw a diagram, and I'm going to scale this in such a way that everything will fit. Now it's really important when you graph this, you don't always start from the first feature. So, for example, this means the function is increasing when x is less than negative five, but we're not going to start with that. Likewise, the function is decreasing when x is in between negative five and one, and when x is greater than one. And again, we can't start with that yet. The third feature, f prime of negative five or f prime of one equals to zero. This just means that the critical points. Will be located for x equal to negative five. Will be located for x equal to one, and you want to be mindful that the critical point may be a maximum. It may be a minimum. It may be an inflection point. So, if you look at the last feature, f of negative five is six, f of one is two. This means the point negative five six is on the graph. So go left by five, up by six, and you label this point. Likewise, if you look at f of one of two, or f of one equals to two, the point one two is part of the graph. Right by one, up by two. So put a check mark next to the fourth uh, condition. That one is done. Now, if you look at the second last condition. And this is probably the most important idea here. The derivative at negative five and at one equals to zero. If the slope or the derivative is going to be zero, that's going to be a horizontal line. And of course, you have to update this on the graph before you connect this using increasing and decreasing. So when you find the slope at negative five and six, at one and two. It equals to zero, and that's why you draw the horizontal line. Now we go back. The first point says the graph is increasing when x is less than negative five. Hi, Mark. The ping pong tournament is starting now, so if you're still involved, come to gym one and two to play. Now you have to be mindful. Increasing may look something like this. It may look something like that. It may look something like that. We don't know yet. So just be mindful. There are three cases, and one of the cases will make the most sense. Likewise, if you look at the second condition, the function is decreasing when it's between negative five and one, and when it's greater than one. And again, decreasing means it's like that, or it could look something like that, or something like that. Likewise, same idea here. This is decreasing. It could be like that, or like that. Now. By inspection, you can tell that negative five six is going to be a maximum. So now, you go back, and you can write down、uh, maximum and draw this part of the graph. And because that's going to be the maximum, and the function will increase when it's less than negative five, you know this part is going to make sense. So you go back, put a check mark to the first condition, done. Now, the second and the third condition you have to connect them. The fact that it's decreasing, the mistake is this: you cannot just draw a function that would decrease to this point and continue to decrease like that. And the reason is because if you really draw this, I'm going to make this more dramatic. The problem is when you find the slope at this point, it's going to be a vertical line, and that means the derivative is undefined. And the question says the derivative is going to be zero, 
So the correct answer is, you go back to this point, one, two, this is going to look something like that. It's going to be concave up, followed by concave down. So what they didn't tell you is you have to create another point in order for this to make sense. So the other point is another point of inflection somewhere in such a way that when you connect them, it's going to look like that. So again, it's going to be concave down at some inflection point, starts to concave up, then at one, two, continues to concave down. So again, if you go back now, this makes perfect sense because it's a horizontal line at both negative five and six, one and two. The function is decreasing between negative five and one, and when it's greater than one, just like that. And this becomes f of x. The last idea is this is not the only way of graphing it. It says sketch a graph, and there's more than one answer. In fact, there'll be infinite many correct graphs. I hope this makes sense.